Okay. Well, I'd like to get started here today. Thank you so much for attending our ribbon cutting ceremony today. We're very excited um, about this opportunity to recognize the Michigan Natural Resources Trust Fund for their support. And before we get started, there's some introductions I would like to make. We have park commissioners here, and if you would uh, raise your hand, I know we have Melanie Hadameo is right here, Mike McDonald is right here, and I don't know if I didn't really see anyone else in the crowd. We have township board members, Ron Steika. We have our township clerk, Brett Dreyfus, uh, Julie Brixey, who's our treasurer, and um, Angie Wilson, township trustee. Great, and our township manager, Frank Walsh, and um, a number of our department heads and staff. And I certainly appreciate um, everyone being here today. Um, this pathway is uh, a third of a mile long, and we're happy to be here to dedicate this, um, this loop trail. It's universally accessible. This park is 15 acres large and um, you know there's many times that people were not able to access the entire facility so that's one of the main benefits of having this loop trail plus it goes along the edge of the red cedar river which is uh, amazingly beautiful and it's a resource here in the township that um, that we can take better advantage of and watch park the history of watch park a little bit as we acquired this facility from the theodore Wanch family in 1969 making this the oldest park in our township park system and um, over the years, in 1975, the Rotary Club, the Okemos Hazlitt Rotary, donated funds for that pavilion, and the parking lot was installed, and there were, was play equipment, but there really hasn't been a lot of um, additions or uh, uh, renovations made to this facility in a while. And in 2008, the Park Commission um, uh, contracted with the firm, and we put a master plan together for this entire site. And part of that master plan was a loop trail and that was something we thought we could afford the local match for. And we applied to the Michigan Natural Resources Trust Fund um, and we were successful. And since um, receiving the grant, we also were successful in passing a new millage, which has assisted us in renovating the parking lot. We're looking at adding a new pavilion here. And, um, and there's many other amenities to come, outdoor exercise equipment along the loop trail, um, better access to the river. So we do have some other things um, uh, moving forward on this park and and then we just had a dedication of the new uh, the bridge here the new big green bridge the footbridge through the that was funded through the uh, Meridian Township bicycle pedestrian pathway millage and so all of these things have helped in improving the accessibility of Wanch Park um, this project was uh, $60,000 to construct uh, the grant was for $45,000 and so we only had to provide $15,000 local match for this amenity. Um, for acknowledgments, uh, first of all, I would like to thank the Meridian Township Engineering Department. They assisted us with the, uh, with the design specs and the bidding and, uh, and construction oversight. I'd like to thank Jane Greenway, who's our Parks and Land Management Coordinator for the planning and for working with the grant and, uh, and uh, uh, submitting the application. And the contractor for the project was Central Excavating. And also we've got a good friend in Joe Pannoni from Rapid Tree Removal. And he was able to come in before construction started. And there were a number of dead and diseased trees here in the park. And he was able to take those down and remove those from the site, uh, which has helped in opening this park up tremendously. And then also we have our friends with the Okemos Kiwanis Club. And they built and installed four benches for us along this pathway. So. As you take the walk along this one third mile stretch, you get a little tired, you can, have a, you can sit down and rest a little, or just sit and, view the, and enjoy the beautiful views. I also need to thank Robin Faust. She's our department secretary who has put this little event together for us, so we certainly appreciate her efforts. And at, at this point, I would like to turn the microphone over to Chip Kozlowski, and he is our grant coordinator with the Michigan Department of Natural Resources Grants Division. Hello everybody. Uh, again, my name is Chip Kozlowski. I'm a grant coordinator with the Michigan DNR. Um, I've been on board with the DNR for about six months now, so I'm kind of coming in on the back end of this project, um, and I get to come out and hang out in the sun and eat cookies, and uh, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. So, 
Um, but again, on behalf of the DNR, I'd like to thank you for inviting me out to be a part of this project and the ceremony. Um, the DNR is proud to be a partner on this project through the Michigan Natural Resources Trust Fund, um, which was established in 1976 and is funded through earnings um, derived from mineral production on state-owned lands. So over the years, Meridian Township has been very active with our program. Um, they've received over 20 grants um, for public outdoor recreation from the DNR, totaling over $1.5 million. And throughout Ingham County, over 50 grants have been awarded, um, totaling over $18 million. So, um, you know, we're glad to be a partner with Meridian Township, and they've been a, a very active um, participant in our program. For this specific project, as Luanne stated, we provided $45,000 in grant funds from the trust fund, um, which matched $15,000 from the township um, to see a $60,000 project through. Uh, projects like this don't just happen, as everybody out here knows. So um, we'd just like to congratulate Meridian Township and all the other partners that contributed to this project um, for seeing it through to the end. Again, we're proud to be a partner. We're glad to. Um, you know, know that people are going to be out here walking on this trail very soon, and we look forward to working with the township on future projects. So, thank you. At this time, are there any park commissioners who would like to make any comments? No, oh, Melanie. Melanie had a mail. Um, I didn't actually prepare anything, so this is off the cuff. So. Um, but thank, thank you everybody for showing up. Oops, thank you everybody for showing up today. We really appreciate it. We see a lot of the people that um, are township officials, also other, other community members that, that participate in helping to improve our parks. I'm not going to name any groups because I'll probably forget someone and I don't want to do that. But thank you for uh, all, the, all the things that all of you do. And we're very excited to have, um, to start on improvements for Watch Park. Um, it's, it's really been needing some love and care for a while, and, um, and this is just the beginning, as Luann said. So, we, and we really appreciate all the, all the participation in, in, with, with everybody who's helped to make it happen. Thanks. Okay, I think we're ready for the ribbon cutting, and we're going to um, start this over by the sign, uh, our Michigan Natural Resources Trust Fund sign. And following the ribbon cutting, we are going to take the inaugural walk around the Loop Trail for those of you who are interested. And um, we are very fortunate that our local resident and Okemos Kiwanis member, Terry Carroll, is going to play the bagpipes as we walk along the trail. So it's going to be a lot of fun, but first of all, we're gonna do the ribbon cutting and then we'll do the walk. Thank you very much for attending. Okay, we're ready. One, two, and three. Hey, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. 